So here's a quick demonstration of how to use Illustrator to create a, like an Aperture or Iris logo by using um, the Rotate tool and the Pathfinder selectively. Um, I, I need to have an alignment point, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create some guides. So if I press Control r to reveal the rulers, I can drag out a guide, another guide at the centre of this document, and from this point I'm going to draw a couple of ellipses. I'm just going to edit the, the fill and stroke properties, so let's have a black circle with no fill, sorry, no stroke. And if I place my cursor at the center of these, this intersecting guide, I'm going to press Alt and Shift as I draw outwards. The Shift key keeps the height and width proportion constrained, and what Alt does is it draws out from the center rather than from the corner. Second thing I'm going to do is to now, whoops, I don't want to make that one white. I want to create a new ellipse, but this one will be white. So same principle, right at the center, Alt Shift. And this white circle is going to be the one that I chop up to create the um, kind of blades of the diaphragm. So I'm going to do that with a pathfinder. I'm going to draw a triangle. Let's make this a slightly different color. Let's give it a stroke. A triangle that extends outside and I don't I want this to be I don't want this to be a quarter of the circle. I don't want it to be an eighth. I want it to be a little less than an eighth so that I've also got um, some gaps in between each of these blades. So here we are. So here's my circle and my triangle. If I select them both, I can use the Pathfinder tool down here to chop out the overlap. There we are. So this will be one of my blades. I'm just going to edit this slightly by using the direct selection tool to cl click on the midpoint. And just by holding shift and pressing the arrows, I'm going to nudge that away from the center to create a little bit of a, some negative space in the center. And I'm also going to shift it up. So this will be the, the shape that I re repeat. So if I press on the Rotate tool, the first thing to do is to click where the center point of the rotation should be. So again, I'm going to click right here in the center of the artwork. And now as I drag, whoops, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to select the whole of the blade. I'd only selected one of the points. So there we are. And Rotate. There's my rotation midpoint. Click. And then as I drag, I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift. So in this situation, what Alt will do is it will duplicate the shape. And again, drag, whoops, I'll just re click back to put the center. Alt and Shift, let go of Alt and Shift and drag, and then press Alt and Shift to duplicate. Drag, press Alt and Shift. Alt and shift, Alt and shift, there we go. And what that means I can now do is to draw an additional circle out from the center. My final step will be to um, use the Pathfinder tool to punch all of these white shapes out of the black shape to create this frame for me. I think if I'd have if in the, the beginning I'd have nudged this center point out just a little less, then I would have had a much more consistent um, weight of stroke here. So let's just try fixing that and going back a few steps. So if I nudge that down, that's good. Delete all of these. Start again with this one, which is a better shape now. Rotate, there's my rotation point. Press Alt and Shift, Alt and Shift, Alt and Shift, Alt and 
and shift. Don't press Alt and shift until you're, you've begun the rotation. There we go. There we are. Happy with that. 